Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the beloved uh, blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time for another antediluvian rune because I'm greedy and I want all of the sweet, sweet, sweet new resources that seem to be the best. Not sure if they are, but they definitely seem to be really, really helpful. Cool, we got the Prime Team. What I would want to do is make sure that we're not running out of ammunition again. Let's read this here, by the way. Should just add one strength. Thank you. Good, we could increase speed of Shattered Realm once again. Not the worst idea. Ranks is fine. Here we would need to continue to increase speed with the Butcher Owns. And here we need more ammunition. Thank you. Good. Looks like as if besides the ammunition, everything is in good order, which means we're deploying this squad. Good. We landed. This time apparently in the middle. Oh, that reminds me very much of my very first encounter with them. Oh boy, I hated it. <laughs> the worst ranks. Let's use the spider drone pack and pow pow pow. Ranks three reloads. Going into cover. He and the butcher owns. Overwatch is here. Shattered Realm makes sure that we're not being flanked. From over here. Oh, that's okay. I don't like that. So, by thinking about it, should a realm should go over there. It's a very high likelihood that. Someone or something is there. Okay, Polly moves to here, places a turret in the open. And we're ending the turn. Good. Time for us to explore. Good. We found the enemy. The golem. That is. Good. 
enough resources used. Ian moves up. Double checking that there's no one up here. Mm hmm. Okay, well, we've just found our culprits. Told you something was wrong. Rapid clearance and Shattered Realm will clear the house. Oh yeah, complete surprise, right? Yeah, who would have guessed that you guys are here? Well, I tell you what. One. Two. Problem number one, solved. Ranks extends his shield over there. Murphy extends his shield over there. Nicely done. Dilly here, grill there, and we're good. officially hate these guys. Butcher goes back. Ed needs some repairing. There you go. And there's the rest of the repair. Okay. We'll have our revenge. No worries. there fellows let me introduce you to a little trick it's called boom JP Pauly moves a tiny bit further forward. We have still have plenty of actions to do. Uh, 
Unfortunately, can't hit anything from here. The sky, as far as it seems, is really alone. Which is strange, because typically they come in pairs. goes into cover again. Ola moves over here. Just trying to scout out. Can't find anyone yet though. Can't even hit someone. Never mind. End of turn. Yeah, I remember them. These were the guys with the fire laser. It all goes back to to the original, the OG fire laser. They seem to be more accurate than the other lasers, so... JP moves over. So a couple of things, okay? Number one. Number two, let's do the easy part first. One. Two. Three. Move here. Arm and head uh, get a couple of repairs, and we are. Very much ready to roll.
charging over here. All the way to here, which is the maximum. Now we're going to pay back to them. I'm pissed that they destroyed my arm. And Butcher Owens does not take a destruction of his arm lightly. Well, hello there. How's it going? Good? Yeah, well, that's going to change very soon. Oh, that hurt, yeah? Well, fortunate, I'm so sorry to hear that. Gosh, yet another hit and another kill. By the way, we just activated the golem. <laughs> Which is funny. Move up. One slap. One war cry so that he does not shout. I think we're just going behind the stones. See ya, buddy. Rail moves up for next turn. get in position for another repair all right uh, sounds like a really decent turn all things considered turn yeah that does not scare me at all the lasers are sort of scary Specifically if we're fighting against multiples. Okay, back to the basics. You. Yes, you. Need your leg back. There you go. Reloading. You also need healing. Okay. Technicians are just so good. Moving up.
can give you oh well luckily we skilled C now it works well because we have skilled onslaught spider one spider two should have used the spiders more Next spider, next spider, and okay, so. Drinks. Shield realm. It's ready. And should now be ready and capable of complete and utter destruction up here. up and here we go one two can't finish them I think Wrong way around, but it's okay at the end. I tell you what, we're just going to hide here. I don't want the big laser. Nothing good can come out of that. So 
we're moving a little bit closer. I think the golem is now the last enemy standing. And in good end boss fashion, they decided to just pass on the turn. So I guess that's what an end boss would do. out of line of sight the appropriate Murphy moves up moves up. Good, next turn is kill time. Okay, he does want to go for the little spiders. flip side spider drones are quite efficient so I realized we can remote control them which means we can also use them in order to remove more armor okay cool well It's about time. That's solid 600 points of damage. Even more. Good. Charge us up. Moves there. Shouts. One dash. And another dash. I think we can just pile on to him. It's now dazed. And that should be the end of the mission. Ooh. The fire lasers are 
dangerous. Still very, very dangerous. But on the flip side, once you're close to them, I've already learned my lesson. Like the lasers cost three action points. Once you're close to them, they have nothing. Uh, maybe they're like melee attacks, the drills or whatever that is. But that won't deal a lot of damage and they are not really fast. Plus you can stomp them, which I really like. Not with this group here, but with the other. Cool, now we have more protein gas even. Now we need to just wait for a second. Regaining some of the stamina. And then I believe the Pandora nest down there is the next bigger thing. Could also go over here. Which would be a solution for our continuous problem of lack of experience on Murphy. Out of curiosity, Mist Haven has Medical Bay, Living Quarters. Alaska has Living Quarters. Only Living Quarters, no Medical Bay. trade here excavation is completed and that means this excavation here if I'm not mistaken yep More, um, protein field and here we got another uh, recalco mine so apparently now we're just getting more resources which is fantastic, that's exactly what I was looking for. At the Snyderan Haven of Hyper Mombasa, unusual situations unfolding. Significant minority of the population has joined a new religion, Cult of Distance Voice. Members of the cult believe that throughout meditation, person can contact with divine being called Yurgon and thus receive enlightenment. Furthermore, the, um, they believe they are the enlightened are immune to the Pandora virus. The latter believes causing a security problem. Good. Trade. Yes, please. And uh, moving on. Good, I think that's the next mission. Once those two, uh, once this mission here is done, I think we need to fly uh, back and then also uh, regain some composure. Got another uh, ruin over there. And we got a Pandora nest which we need to uh, we'll need to take care of. And yeah, this ruin here potentially the D team uh, needs to give it a shot. I think there are three, might be three of each uh, type of resource, uh, three kind of uh, mineral fields, so to speak. If that's the case, we could get 12 per tick, whatever a tick is.
Okay, cool. Our new base down here has just started, so really not much happening. Nice, they even do have the little islands. Still not sure what that's supposed to be, but okay. I suppose we'll find out in due time. The mystery pelling seems to work very well. What I haven't understood yet is if havens can be built up again. I don't think so. Like Roak, uh, for instance, is potentially just dead in the water. This one here as well. But overall, we haven't lost that many havens. Yeah, people die out of starvation, fair enough, but we haven't really lost a lot of havens. Good, and once Europe is coming online with its mist repeller, also this situation might change. My understanding is if our structures lie within the mist, there is a higher chance that they will be attacked, so might as well need to watch out for that. But it feels like at the moment we're detecting all of the Pandora nests really, really quickly. So there isn't much building up unless it's like here or here. But we could detect that, I guess, if we were to build up the other bases. But activating a base now costs like what? Ah, it's, it's okay. It was always expensive. But it grows even more and more expensive now. I think more bases might make sense just to get that scanning and mist repelment. I don't know if if uh, repelling the mist is a viable strategy to win the game. I have no idea how to win that game. At the moment it seems it's more don't lose the game and that's all there is. Interesting, it's an independent haven. Okay, well, just realized there's another antediluvian rune up here. So we will need to get that one as well. There's definitely one down here and there is one up there. So three more plus the one that we currently have four more. Yeah, okay. Well, guys, we're going to invade this with a third team. Wish me luck. Um, and that'll happen, of course, in the next mission. Thanks for watching today. And uh, I hope you will invade the like button. See you in two days and bye-bye.